Welcome to the WP Neo Mobile tutorial. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install, activate, design, and launch it. First, we're going to log in to the WordPress site. Once we're in, we're simply going to go to the plugins, new, upload, browse for the plugin, and simply open it. You would install it from here. Since I've already installed it, you'll see that I now go to the installed plugins to activate our newly uploaded WP Neo Mobile plugin. The settings now appear at the bottom and we'll click on Mobile Theme. Across the top are five tabs, Settings, all the way over to the subpage header. We'll begin with the layout. As you can see, it's set for two columns now, but you can choose among four different layouts. Left, right, or no columns whatsoever. And of course, each column can be adjusted for their pixel size. They're at 100 now, but I'll slim them down to 10. We can easily adjust the colors. Choose any color you desire, or you can also just type in the hex color number if you know that. Once the changes have been made, click Submit. The other adjustments are for the top column, Size, Footer, and click Submit. Now you can see the page has a large header and a dark footer. The title and tagline can also be adjusted for font size, color, etc., as can the posts and pages. The telephone section permits you to upload any image for the click to call feature. Upload any image you desire. The logo is the same way. Simply choose your graphic and upload. Here is where you would upload a banner. The menu too, all fully customizable. The content, the footer, the transition to each page can be one of ten different animations. The sub-page header layout, logo, and banner is verified here. Be sure to click Submit to save your work so far. Now let's go to the menus. As you can see, all the pages in WordPress are listed here, each with a customizable icon. Let's change the blog roll icon. Easily navigate to the image you'd like and click Submit. You can see here how it's changed. Now let's choose the categories and pages for our navigation buttons. The layout can be horizontal or vertical with the icons either being on top or to the left of the text, or no icons at all. Let's select some more pages. It's easy to place the navigation cluster anywhere on the pages that you'd like. Save the layout. Now the home page. For the posts, we can choose a single draggable post. like Hello World, and place it here. Or we can remove it and choose an automatic propagation of posts. The pages are also drag and drop to any place on the page, easily changed with a click. The same with the click to call image, banners, and logo. All are drag and drop. You can easily change the size and shape of the graphic by dragging the corners and moving it around. Just like the banner. Let's make it a bit smaller. We'll lower this just a bit, and being sure to save our layout. Here's what we've got so far. At any time, we can click on Preview to get a better look. See the page and the text associated with it.
For a closer look, you can click the magnifying icon below for more detailed editing. And always be sure to click Submit, which launches your new mobilized site. Thanks for watching.